One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I'm by the highway. It's the last of the sun. Last of the sun I can get. I'm gonna go around this, show you in this light. I might add and clip something in tomorrow where you can see it in a different light. But clean car. And this is a, I gotta get the specs on it. I'll tell you on the next video. And that is that. Just quick once around before the light goes away. Beautiful car. Someone needs this. Nathan, 406-546-8748. That's the car, man. I'm doing this one a little bit different today because I only have out by my road, out by the highway, by my house, by my shop, to film these right now because I can't get them far enough away because we're not getting them done until late at night. So... I've got a little bit of the sunny time that I'll throw in later. But this is a 1984 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. It's got the functional RAM induction error or what have you. 5.0 HO it came with. Pretty sure it's a 350 now. Um, it romps. It's a fun car to drive. Very clean. And it's been completely redone pretty much. I'm going to go over everything with you. Um, there's new paint. There's stickers decals, whatever you want to call it, um, the new tires, as we go over this, you'll see just how much there is. Nathan, 406-546-8748. And make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. It's in great shape. It's got new striping and everything all down along here. Um, that, was a, that was a bug. It's got tipped, tufted, tipped wings, it looks like, but actually pieces of the sticker are missing on the wings and little scratches here and there not that much to write home about a couple small stress cracks right here they're not through or nothing but they definitely scuffed the bumper on something as you can see because it's a little line right there tires all kinds of rubber nice original wheels they a little that's um, you know they're not that scuffed up they do have some curb rash and stuff but they're just what, 40 years old almost? Nice and clean. Wheel wells and all. Under the hood's beautiful. Show you all that. Just a couple marks there. And chip there. Across the back, clean as can be. Bumper and all that, clean as can be. This stuff here is just a little bit off. Probably need some more double sided tape. It's got a hitch, but I don't think it's ever pulled anything. Um, going down the sides, I'm sure there's a ding or two, but I'll tell you what, I don't see it. When they did the paint work, they took care of all that. Slight stress cracks in the um, door sweeps or window sweeps. T-tops and all. This car's in good shape, and it's fun to drive. And people ask you questions and look at it. It's got the factory mud flaps all kinds of rubber on it. I don't want to say that like it's an option, like locking gas gas. But I mean, whoever had this took care of it. And it's a nice car. It's fun to drive. This side's not as cracked up at all. A little piece missing there. Actually, when we got this, the guy had a piece of electrical tape right there to cover that up. But even the things that keep the rain from coming seeping back inside, it's all good. Functional scoop, and that's a walk around of it. It's in great shape, and I didn't really look at that man. Just beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the interior now, and then we'll take a test drive back to my lot. Beautiful car, man. I dig this car. If anybody's been on my channel much, you know I like F bodies, especially Grand Vams. It's the one to have. T-tops, and let's get into this here. It's in great shape. Look at the dash, and there's a little crack in the dash right there. I would silicone that up, but I didn't do nothing to it. Door panels, great condition. There's mud on the pedals from me driving it. Floors are good, that pad is good. The carpet's is a little thin right there. Seats are great, except right here. It's wore through, and there's a couple little of these going up the side. And I think 
this might be no that's where that screwed in so just a couple holes in the interior there no other way to say it really great shape head liner a couple wrinkles right there but it's in really good shape all the center console and everything the car according to auto check and everything is an original 98,000 now listen to this somebody replaced that damn horn that is not a 30 year old horn that's all there is to say about it. Let me get these keys out. Dome light works. Jeez, such a nice car. Listen to them doors. They're not even sagging yet. And then all that works. It's had a Idlebrock manifold, Idlebrock carburetor. Everything's been put in. There's no lines for it, and the AC pump has not been put on. Um, there's your functional ram air, if you will. Uh, air induction and it has not does not work now it's got all the wiring it would work but they chose to do a carbureted version like this without the other thing all this is your you can turn up and down the heat meaning what temperature your fan kicks in at and that's the solenoid for all that and everything this thing check this out auto brock auto brock been put on new even the fuel filters new back there plugs and wires I got all that together, new radiator, new fuel pump, brand new battery, and they added that fan, which is kind of cool not to have the other one. I like that. This connects to nothing now because it's not got the factory. It's actually one of the oil breathers for each side because the other side is missing also because it doesn't hook to nothing. But that's under the hood, crate car. Also, we know this came from the factory with a 5.0, however, Putting all this into it, I'm thinking they put a 350, and the way it feels and drives, it feels a lot ballsier than a 5.0. Feels like a 350 to me. Um, other side, we'll look at this. This is the only damage on this seat. And the floors are nice. <laughs> I left a detailing tool in here. Pocket there is good. Oh, I wonder. Nope. It's not in the center either. But look at that dash. It's clean. You don't usually find them this clean. Uh, getting hard to find them at all. It's not crazy priced. And this is a very good price on this car. I don't put my prices in my YouTube, but you can go to my Facebook, Serial Marshmallows, or my YouTube, my um, eBay ad, or our marketplace. Or you can call me. 406 546 8748. Okay, let's look in the back. Height. The struts are holding it up, but they sag about a half an inch. T-top bags, all in there. As you can see, there's some tears in the top of the seat there. But you're gonna like this, this is cool. You can tell a little old man had it or something. Somebody that was like their car. Let's just leave it like that for a second. I opened it, I'll show you that in a second. All right. I took some pictures, so here we go. Look at this. Extra hubcap. Random extra gas cap. A raincoat. Some kind of a tarp or raincoat or something. Extra plastic covers for the lug kit. It's a tool kit here. This guy was prepared. Look. Another raincoat. Wrench set. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. He's got a, a tire air compressor. Screwdriver set. Jumper cables. A tow rope. What is that? Tire pressure, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. Huh. Cool. And extra bulb. So the pocket's nice to have. This here, we was like, what is that? You know, what is this thing? Old car alarm. It's got the old style for the car alarm. So, there is all this. This works. 
I can't do it with my fingernail. Holding the camera, holding the camera makes it hard to, to pull on stuff. But this, I absolutely don't know where those hook in. I thought it was under this, but I'm not sure. And it's also got another pocket here. Of course, if you know these cars, I'm not showing you nothing. That you don't already know. Basically nothing in here. There's a wire for the hitch. Well, that is that. Let's go for a test drive. Okay, you gotta hear how nice this thing starts. Right now, buddy. Um, the front lights, they pop right up. Everything's good on that. It's a common problem on these. It's got a nice, um, throaty exhaust, but it's not too overpowering. Turns, power steering, everything's good. And once again, there is no way that's a horn from 1984. Whoa, turns right now, buddy. Turns on a dime. Very nice driving car. Take your hand off the wheel and it just goes right down the road. My place is right up here. My dad's place, I think, is at 1.1 miles. I ain't got an overdrive, do I? Sure didn't. Okay. That's your test drive, pretty much. This thing runs, drives great. And it's a blast to drive with the T-tops off. This, I think. Yeah, buddy. Idles like it should and everything. I'm gonna get you a check engine lights on, of course, because it's got a carburetor now. And it's looking to be talking to some computer. Well, this computer ain't talking. Here's with the headlights. That's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Call me and buy this, 406-546-8748, Nathan, and add me on YouTube here, subscribe, It's like 8,000 videos on here, flip through them, I'm sure you find something you like, we'll talk to you.